Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Google Play has provided some updates and information due to the unprecedented times we're facing. The app review process has been temporarily slowed down, and we are prioritizing the review of apps published, commissioned, or authorized by official government entities and public health organizations. In addition, we are currently only approving apps that reference COVID-19 or related terms in their store listing if the app is published, commissioned, or authorized by an official government entity or public health organization. We're also expanding our ability to assess and remove inappropriate reviews as quickly as possible. For all the updates and resources for developers whose business value proposition has been affected, check out the post. We released Bazel 3.0 a new major release of our open source, highly scalable build system. And we expect that the migration to Bazel 3.0 will be simple for most users. Check out the post to see important changes, community updates, and how you can set incompatible flags in Bazel 2.2 to help test your build before upgrading. The local home SDK has exited developer preview, allowing you to submit local fulfillment apps along with your smart home action through the actions console. Local Fulfillment extends your smart home action and routes commands to devices through the local network, benefiting users with reduced latency and higher reliability. We've also improved the scan configurations in the action console based on your feedback, allowing you to enter multiple scan configurations for a given project. Read all about it on the post. We launched the Business Console for Google Pay, a new tool that streamlines the way you integrate Google Pay into your apps and websites. The Business Console allows you to see the current status of integrations, find integrations you worked on, and guides you through submission and approval, helping you track your progress. Check out the post for how to get started with the new console and with Google Pay integrations. In light of the extraordinary global circumstances due to COVID-19, we are temporarily rolling back the enforcement of same-site cookie labeling that began with a stable release of Chrome 80 in February. While most of the web ecosystem was prepared for this change, we want to ensure stability for websites providing essential services, including banking, online groceries, government services, and healthcare. Read more about it on the post. We've introduced an update to the TensorFlow Model Garden, providing a centralized place to find code examples for state-of-the-art models and reusable modeling libraries for TensorFlow 2. The code now leverages TensorFlow 2's abilities to distribute training workloads using the Distribution Strategy API. The TensorFlow Hub will keep playing its role as a repository where people can easily search for ready-to-use pre-trained models. Check out the post for more details. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. This is recorded at 6000K.